everybody. Welcome back to Rote Reactions. I'm once again, S.A. Baz Collins here with my fabulous co-host. Hello, this is Albert Nufflet. So we back to Vampire Land. Yes. <laughs> Almost oh. sounds like a theme park. <laughs> We're back to Vampire Land. I know. <laughs> I was thinking like, oh, this is going to be so awesome and then you were like no but this is like this is so soothing and yeah it's it's going to be hard but it's going to be cool yeah I yeah like this story so well if much. anything we'll just get our minds off of everything else going mm -hmm. on in the world you know so yeah. okay so here we go with season two episode two do you know what it means to be loved by death oh my god okay i think this is i think this is the theater, theater the vampire, vampire you know that i think that's what this is Yes, it has to be. I've been waiting for this for so much. Because I'm just going to say it. I was disappointed by the movie when we got to the theater. I was like, mm. so, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. At some point, we're going to have to sneak in the witches of Mayfair. <gasps> yes, please. Paris. Hard to put it into words now. For what Paris means to me now is very different from what it meant to me then. May I try? Yep. Please. Paris was an awakening for Louis. Paris was a hunger. Paris was many things in those days. Mm. Even now, to think of it, setting aside certain events, mm -hmm. I feel something close to happiness when I think of it. The name alone, Paris. Paris sucks. But she proposed <laughs> to Alice in Paris. And she divorced me in Staten Island. Paris sucks. Paris is a oh, universal... Come on. Fashion bullshit fashion cafe culture history. is boring. Paris was not... So oh, so my God. It was healing. Yeah. I kind of in his, to in his defense, mechanism. it can be all of those things. Okay. What? Truth is more valuable if it takes you a few years to find it. What you said is trust is worth several if we take a few years to find it. A little rust on the mother. Ouch. And I'm looking for francs and diamonds. Truth don't pay the rent. No salt. These people are broke. Maybe we chose the wrong town. I saw a woman tonight in a patchy five-year-old dress putting on a brand new lipstick. And what's that supposed to say? It says Paris is on her way back. Give her a little time is all. What makes you think Paris is a woman? Well, now I know you're hungry. Oh my God, she read my mind. I'll tell you what a woman is. Where you want to hunt? <laughs> Force looks dark. Franks and diamonds, and you want heaven to open up and rain down big stars? Is that it? It's a start. It's customary. Start. Start. Traveling vampires to make themselves known to a local coven. Gosh. We didn't get that memo. <laughs> Oops. The Gauls Paris have me etherized. Yeah. <laughs> the whitest of lies, turning 77 this year. Do not leave Dubai until you've made him retract it. Uh huh. <laughs> if Claudia and I. <laughs> It was an astonishment. Our skin did not attract the same attention it did in America. Right, because there wasn't any racism in mid-20th century France. Oh, I, didn't mm. say that. I think your Algerian inferiors Oops. of the time might disagree. But I wasn't an Algerian. I was an American. And if there was an assumption that I had arrived to blow a trumpet or sing for my supper, it did not register as a slight in those days. I was just grateful mm. knowing no one wanted to lynch me or direct me to the far end of the cafe counter. That's all he was saying, Mr. Malloy. Are you two going to finish each other's sentences for the whole session? We've been together since <laughs> years, Daniel. <laughs> he's having more than he did with the stuff. Should we let the math of He points out smugly. Keep selling it. <laughs> we hit Whoa. Him. That is so interesting. Malloy is fascinating. Overspending for black market baguettes. It was the perfect cover. Yes, perfectly situated. One floor above the owners and one floor below the students and sex workers. 
literally encircled by curious and money-hungry motivations. We never brought our kills home. We used the sewers for that. Mm -hmm. Waterways of which they had no expertise. The Parisian vampire is a prideful monster. They lived two kilometers from our theater in Pigat. I had endured hundreds of nights in the theater with Lestat. I was not seeking more. Theater called Théâtre des Vampires, a company that had been in existence for 150 years. <laughs> 77 years and it's still I think he has the brochure memorized yep <laughs> were they romantic no who was the master neither it seemed the male hunted to please her the girl suffered philosophical conversation to please him the American vampire okay. appeared to be as dull and plain as their tourists and soldiers were rude I took up mm -hmm. as a hobby vampires with hobbies Insanity. Killing time when you weren't killing Parisians. I liked taking photographs. It took my mind off things. A vampire uh -huh. with a hobby. <laughs> I mean, if you live for so long, you have right, to have you know, hobbies. Okay. Hey, more power to them. Yeah. If not, what are they doing? Just rehearsing for the theater, the other guys? I mean... What are you looking for when you take a picture? I don't know. Surprise, baby. Something off. Like a hat that's too small for a head. Someone realizing they forgot to do something and they stop. Okay. Now you can get mindful about it. Ask yourself what brought them here. What brought you here? Is it coming together random? Choreograph? The metro late for him? The rain? Sometimes I want the short answer. <laughs> you listen to their thoughts. You know what's coming? If there was no me, and there was no him, Oops. who would you be? Wow, that's a very good question. How you going to get there? I don't think he has an answer. She had a point. Yeah. Yep. Sucks. That's not <laughs> Sure it is. She's miserable, but she doesn't want to fuck with your too delusional left bank dilettante vibe. She wasn't telling me something I didn't know about myself. She was giving me permission to think to I'm more like like seeing something her. being revealed. It's Alice, Louis. And Claudia. Excuse me. Oh, I see. I've triggered a memory. No, it's Claudia. It's her journal. Louis needs Paris. It's 1985. I don't... You and Alice were at a brasserie talking past each other, and she tells you she's pregnant. The fishing rod in <laughs> the head again. And you say? Yeah. Let's talk about it later tonight. I gotta knock out a What? One a week. I leave before the bill is paid. I never finish the novel. I think it was the yeah that pissed her off most. Yeah? Yeah. Louis needs Paris. I don't know what I need. Odd. Maybe a new brain. brain. Why can't I tell you? Why are they so interested in him? I suppose I'm afraid my joylessness will take away his happiness and maybe I don't want his I'm definitely with the opinion that Armand knows way more than maybe Louis remembers. Oh. But there's some kind of uh huh, you know, like a block there, or something. Yeah, he's running interference. Hmm. You know, all through season one, he was in yeah. the background, now he's very much foreground. Hmm, a protective lover. Whoa, okay. Pas de saucy, just the right breath. Oh, mais faites attention, c'est une robe en soie, une goutte d'eau pourrait l'attacher. The dress for my body. And I'll need some gloves. I'm thinking white. Thank you, Rich. Wow, photographs. So, photos are the record of time passing. Outward evidence. They do not lie, but neither do they tell you a thorough story. Who were the young men? Hmm. Vampires? Those were our young friends. Humans. Guys. Some are very old now, most are dead. And some we simply drained for sport. Well, generally me. Louis has his ways. There was a park I had heard about. Mm -hmm. I would go to this park often. That was an armored thing that spring. Someone steady on his feet, but 
with a history of chasing the wrong kind of love. I'll describe it myself, thank you. Yes. But with a history of chasing the wrong kind of love. This is a little annoying. <laughs> I was convinced we were being toyed with and I could hold back the coven only so long. I knew the oh my god, are they going to meet? Knew what went on in the rambles there, and so I was not surprised to find him without the girl. I would confront the elder and make him aware of the ways rogue vampires were dealt with in Paris. He looked like a boy masquerading as a gentleman, but I sensed his ancient power right away. He was awkward. Oh, well. Attempt to blend in as some layman, thinking he could fade into the landscape. It was absurd. I mean, he was alarmingly handsome in the muted lamplight. I thought he was going to kill me. He said, I will not harm you. And I never have. Hmm. You're right, he's really protective. And bring the petite beauty with you. Which I think is interesting because in the film, which we'll get to at some point, yeah. for our viewers out there, this was what we were denied in the film version. Mm -hmm. Remember, they come close, but then part ways. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. Having Armand there gives it extra perspective and it's fun right right and a gravitas that's that's yeah. needed Ooh, we're going to the theater finally claudia 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 i found some what they, they found me found us give me that let me see Five months removed from their velvet-heeled arrival, the Americans were finally coming to pick up. The perfumed armpit of Paris. <laughs> oh, okay. Whoa. Our finest seats. Ooh. Spins and lights. And Ladies and gentlemen, Madame Monsieur. Let's see if you remember who this guy is. Awful and awful. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Welcome to the displacement of reason. And the excretion of pathetic desires. By that I mean. Good evening! This is like a Rocky Horror show. What you're about to see Whoa. is for you an outrage that masks a birth and a rebirth of what is considered. The rope slip. He's really flying. I know. Instead of mere human. Oh my god. I don't remember him. Who is the actor? It's Santiago. To present to you the highest form of art in the. He's the one that uh, in the movie uh, Tom Cruise slices in half its side. Oh, right, right, right. But that actor, we've seen him in another movie where he, he's uh, in a, one of our queer movies that we've previewed. Oh. Or reacted to. I'm trying to place him, but I can't. Honesty, right after I take my boot from your arm. But seriously, as I mean, <laughs> being vampires and by nature superior to you mortals, we can replicate the level of build necessary to disrupt your tiny ship called human decency. In fact, we capsize it, so if you don't leave here tonight seeing the world upside down and liking very much what you see, uh, Hmm. Then we here at the Théâtre des Vampires have failed in our jobs, which is at the heart of it, to laugh alongside your misery while you cry and scream for more. 
Do you recognize him? Nope. Who is it? Remember the movie Beautiful Thing? Where yes. It place with Stee and uh, oh, I can't remember the other character's name. The two boys who live side by side in the projects. Every and uh-huh. then his mother, his mother was wanting to open a pub. Is real. Remember? Right. That's the boyfriend. Remember that. No the hippie, way. The hippie boyfriend. You are all. There is no way I could have recognized him. <laughs> Absolutely no way. And an openly queer actor. And appalling! Whoa. I love you for it. Wow. And I welcome you. The makeup is awesome, by the way. Yeah. You disgust me. Whoa. Is everybody wearing fake fangs? Yeah. Oh, like Rocky Horror Picture Show. Of, it of really its era. is. It really is just like that. Why does the master has to tend to the prize singular plant at night when the rest of the garden is tended by the actors? I kind of like that it's set in this time period because they can use technology to mask even uh, more. You know. Right. 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 The effect was wondrous. The modern cinema had an enormous influence on my aesthetic, and the light of the projector on the faces of our actors lent a romantic air to their performances. The plays were weird. The plays were timeless. <laughs> updated for the age and all from our 150-year repertoire. They were weird and always ended in death. <laughs> well, they're French, that's why they're weird. <laughs> Life is cruel, like Avant-garde. <laughs> Where the fuck do you think that comes from? <laughs> it's the first time in Paris oh. that I had seen a smile or a laugh come out of her that wasn't for my benefit. Oh, that's lovely. That first night where the efforts to make it all appear as farce. Sarah. The fake vampire teeth, the fake blood, the trick rope. It was all a seduction to lure the cattle into a willing belief of disbelief. Right. The only play that mattered was the last. Uh Uh-huh. Oh my god, this is so messed up. I remember reading this in the book and being like, no, no, this is horrible. This is an English only performance. <laughs> Come on. Really? My, my name is Annie Coroman. Oh, no. I live in Antwerp. People are vampires. True vampires. This, this is real. Go, my husband. I'll call him for you, baby. <laughs> This is horrible. Oh my god. How about him? (laughs) Whose flesh has run in every direction from his mustache. I want you to remember this. The next time you're in the pew, you turn to your neighbor and say, Peace be unto you. They'll give you up in a wink. Oh, God. Not it's horrible how he enjoys it. Mm. Well, and he's I, like, I am right to. From I remember in the books, mm-hmm. <laughs> they've been around for so long. The boredom is what makes them cruel. This is awful. I know, but it's as if they were any better. They are also really selfish. If his life was in danger, well, his unlife, I should say, but yeah. 
Unconscious death is the fate of all mortals. <sighs> yeah, that, that would be me being like, oh my god, this is you know awful. What it means to be loved by death. No pain. Is he gonna say something? <laughs> that was much more horrible than reading about it. It really is kind of clever that they set it in this part of Paris because of the oh. avant-garde and the decadence and all that stuff. It was culturally mm -hmm. acceptable. Oh my God. Ew. But Claudia is happy. That is why several Toulousian G's pricked my ear in Act 4. Did you catch that, Englishman? Oh, I did, Matt. Otherwise, very committed tonight, madame. Merci. That goes for the entire company. Very committed tonight. Bravo, brava. Even as they wipe their grease paint, as if this were an ordinary night. Five months of night. Five insolent months of nights. Waiting. For you to humble us with your appearance. I ask you, Maître, was it worth the wait? The Americans are here! One big happy fucked up family. Uh huh. This is very tense. Fuck up! Landing us our core acting company. Gustave, Celeste, Estelle, and Santiago. You were amazing. I was, wasn't I? Love the dress. Oh, thank you. Do American vampiresses all wear pastels? Claudia is the only American vampire, so I say that's a yes. And are all American vampires as a Alluring is you. <laughs> okay. Louis was expelled for his beauty. Oh, such a burden, beauty. <laughs> Who's your maker? My maker? Mm. Eglay here. Uh... For us all. Night you were given the gift, phase of the moon, name of the maker. I don't really need Do you both have the same maker? We did. Yeah. His name was Bruce. Bruce? Okay. Bruce the vampire. He said he was from Copenhagen. We met him on the road just outside of Chicago. We traveled a lot. Mm -hmm. What did you do? When the kills pile up. We don't talk about him much. He uh, threw himself into a fire in front of us. And, and Santiago does not believe it. Santiago, it seems you've missed the vein and drawn air instead. Hmm. I got a question. Who's that handsome man on the wall up there? Ah. With us in spirit, always. Our co-founder and the finest actor ever to walk our stage. Lestat de Leon Gaulle. Mm -hmm. Should have seen that coming. Did not see that one coming. Oh, boy. Why? <laughs> it would have been on my bingo card. <laughs> in a right there in the middle. Yes. Such crossings of immortal paths is expected, perhaps more common than you would think. And one looked up at the painting and saw that Teresa's dead husband was Roberto. He had eloped with his enemy's widow. It's a telenovela. I mean, come on. Lestat's painting on the wall. Are you kidding me? Really? Oh, and that means... That means you knew Lestat before he did. Yes, Armand knew Lestat. Young and the Restless. Yes, he was briefly yeah. with Lestat. 
You both fuck. Wait, the word. They were not compatible. He tasted like vermouth and annihilation. <laughs> you shared a boyfriend. Mm. This is great. I fucked Santiago too. It's repertory. Ew. Mr. Malloy, it's how one endures. The start's appearance is important. Just not in the way you think it is, Daniel. Oh, oh I, I'm mm. done thinking. Uh, bring me the tequila and some popcorn. Let's flip to channel 300 something. It's a Univision night. They got a fucking shrine to him. What if they find out we killed him? One of us would have to tell them. Or think it. Well, I thought it the second I saw his face in the frame. But there they were, inviting <laughs> us back five minutes later. To kill us. And right after that, I invaded their thoughts, and not one, not one of them saw anything other than I want to lick these two. So we need to stay away from Estelle if we can. But they know. Okay. And they're going to continue knowing nothing because you're going to keep that loose head of yours tight. Because I want to go back, Louis. Are you crazy? What about the play? When they all pounced on that woman, drained her right in front of their dumb faces. Tell me Ew. you did not feel pride. I did not feel pride. Past your what? Woman, past your fear of being exposed. Vampire pride. Those Frenchies love being vampires and they shamed us because we never felt that way and we fucking should. I'm going back. I want That's right. Oh. Vampire pride. The, uh... <laughs> the skin darker than yours. What else is there to be scared of? Hmm? Other than your own lust. Oops. You felt my <laughs> the blinking. Now I know what two blood fat cocks slapping hands feel like. So thank you for that. Oh. Oh. Really, Claudia? Worship them in the red light. Really? I want to be with my own. Don't ruin this for me, Louis. I need this. Here to know if you've heard from him, if if he is alive, and if so. We have not dealt from Monsieur de Lyon since February 1914, when we possess several wives for him, uh, for a party he was throwing. I know who you are, Monsieur, and I know what you meant to our cherished client, Monsieur de Lyon you say, you said meant? Perhaps he is dead or sleeping. Hmm? I have no confirmation of his actual death and cannot declare him legally dead for years. But seeing as you are now here in Paris and the fact that he has made no withdrawal from his account between us, it is confirmation enough for me to pass this box to you. As instructed in case of uh, well, mm. you may have the office. Are you serious? Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god, this is so difficult to read. In the event that you are reading this, something dreadful has occurred, which is not my own death, rather the fact that we both now exist in two different worlds. Oh. your life, seeking revenge on the person or persons who did this. Do not give them the satisfaction of the hunt. You let treachery eat away at them from within. Oh, this letter is so well written. Oh my God. You go carry on with your living. Know only this, mon cher. You are the only being I trust. And whom I love. Above and beyond myself. All my love belongs to you. You are its keeper. A veil will now forever separate our union. But it is a thin veil. And I'm always on the other side. Face pressed up against your longing. Le start de Lyoncourt. Whoa. Oh no, poor Louis. Le start. Love of my life, or is it more rebound of my life with you two? It's a haunting memory oh. shared with you. What happened next? <laughs> they invited us for a wow. 
They are mean. But yeah, I mean, Malloy is also making fun of Louis, so I understand it, but oh my god. I nodded off one night while Santiago was hamming it up. Apparently, that made me persona non grata with the leading man. <laughs> Oops. Gotta give the uh, principal actor his due. Yeah. When you share a victim, as they did every night on stage, it's merely a taste. An amuse bouche. I love the phrase amuse bouche. When you travel mm. in packs, you take on a collective hunger. The longer the ride, the more intense the craving. Oh no. <laughs> and Claudia is so happy, she's finally with others like her. Oh my god. Azurian hearts beating as one. The rumbling beast of the movable feast. This is what we saw in the uh... Yep, uh -huh, this was the trailer. Yeah. The estate of the family de la Croix. Whilst their countrymen clutch ration cards, they've made quite a killing manipulating the black markets. Voilà. Vous êtes qui? Ah, une réunion d'amis et d'associés. Oui, mais vous avez pas la permission, non? Santiago? <coughs> Il ne faut pas d'autorisation. Elle est à nous la propriété. Give us a layout, would you know? Fourteen men, nineteen guests, plus their host. Thirteen men, eight women, and, and, oh, small firearms in the library bureau. Enjoy yourselves. Mm. You coming? I hit before the play. I'm gonna... Uh-huh. <laughs> Have fun. I understand you supplement your diet. I feast human every other night. It's my way. You're not gonna win. I am now where I most want to be. Oh. I like how you withhold. I don't know about that. Oh. It's alluring. It's practiced. I find myself thinking, what is in there? Been thinking the same about you. Been thinking about you often. Oh, that's so romantic. And there's people dying behind them. What's that? Us. Yeah. Kevin, life can get labyrinthian depths of. It can be tricky. Yeah, I can't imagine. She is something, mm -hmm. your Claudia. Spark in the dark. Pity she was made so young. Imagine her in a book. Yeah. To her mind. She's managed to it. Particularly skilled at blocking her thoughts. Oh, oh, oh. oh, is she warning him? Oh, yeah? That'd be great. Good. Because I do believe I felt some trepidation when the name Lestat was uttered. Oops. Um... My dear American friend, who thinks of me often and who has dominated my mind ever since I laid eyes upon him. Uh-huh. Don't. Wow. I know the particulars of your acquaintance with him. You can tell me when you're ready. But a few of the coven can be volatile and quite unforgiving. When lied to. Shut your mind if you hear his name again. Also, mon ami, may I suggest you never visit Roger Aber and Associates again? Oh my god, he knows everything. Can open all sorts of trouble. As you suggest, Maître. Armand. Maître is Gavin endearment. Armand for you. Caught a lively one for tomorrow's show. Pips are savage. Oh, Louis, I see it now. It's different here. I love it. I never want to hunt alone again. I never want to leave. Chivalry. Oh. Shadow and vampire. In English. I love everybody and everything in this every moment, right? Every now. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. Oh, that was a rip roaring party. Oh my god. It was 1556. I felt. I guess it's a preview of the next one. Uh huh. Uh -oh. And here he was. Ooh. Might be having a good time now. But there's danger if they find out why. How do you get them to accept death? Great conversion. It's real. <laughs> How long are we going to play games, Louis? All right. Mm. Yeah, get the inside. Oh, these are good. Yeah. The commentary here is awesome. Do you know what it means to be loved by death? Is something that no pain. Santiago says to his victims on stage. As he basically lulls them into their death. So all of a sudden we're in Paris. And we're in exciting post-war Paris. There's a certain intellectual fervor that is taking over this particular city. Paris mm -hmm. is everything that Claudia's been waiting for. I love getting old baguettes and like Louis wearing this little scarf in what Louis imagines French people wear. I'm the reticent vampire of the ninth arrondissement. I don't think Louis is really playing at stereotypes of an American tourist. I think he is that. He's living. He is the stereotype of an American tourist. What do you want? Oh. <laughs> How you go and get there. There's some giddiness there and there's some humor that they haven't had. Certainly not since they killed the stats. Our finest seats. <laughs> and then they get to meet these vampires. And this is really the thing that Claudia has been desperately seeking. And in our minds, we have someone that is really intriguing to Louis. So both of them are over the moon. You learn when they go to the theater and they meet a common. Claudia is someone that needs community. Louis is someone that needs to know the community is there, but to be away from it. What sold Prague to us as a shooting location for Paris was not the physical Prague, which is one of the most beautiful cities in the world and can recreate Paris in many, many ways. It was this huge factory we walked into looking for the vampire theater. So now it gets out here. And almost immediately, I just saw the sparkle on Mara LaFerre Schlup's eyes and our production designers, and we said, okay, we're home. This is where we need to be. It's just spectacular. That was a key factor that brought us to Prague, was landing this location and understanding how vital that was going to be to season two. The prospect of getting to work on... Wow, so they built the entire thing. Well, I think the the factory was there, but they. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I mean, but like like uh, the theater. Which is what the vampires would have done. Right. We hear a theatre des vampires delve into the. I was not thinking that actually. Yes, he was actually hanging from it, but needed to look as though he wasn't hanging from it because he was flying. Energy that comes into the show. This is what she's been waiting for, and she envisions a family with these common members just living her best life eating people. <laughs> eating people. is certainly the most theatrical of everybody in the vampire theater. Everything mm -hmm. you're about to see. He thinks he's Laurence Olivier. He's real. But he is that mesmerizing is. and he is captivating. And appalling! And the audience loves him. I love you for And Claudia immediately falls in love with what he represents and wants to be a part of it. <laughs> No, 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 no. Let her speak, sir. I'd like to point out also, just a little aside, that the woman who plays Annika, the first victim we see, is actually our director's assistant. We found oh my god. She is an actress, a very good actress in progress. Yeah, no kidding. Sinead, who played the woman, she was very, very good at being terrified. Oh my god. It was very upsetting to see because it was like yep. her in her entirety. 
But for Claudia, I think Claudia fully was like, where are the stairs to the stage? Like, get me on there right now. That's right. Oh, no, 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 no. It's so funny to be working alongside the set next to somebody who all of a sudden is on stage being devoured by Santiago and later the rest of the cover. I mean, uh -huh. brutal and beautiful and so theatrical and so brilliant. That was horrible. It's like 14 vampires now in the show. And I was like, wow, this is intense. This is like a new thing. And they've mm -hmm. had relationships already and they've been rehearsing. They've been like shooting these plays. It was really helpful for me personally to walk into this whole world of vampires. It was like unfamiliar and different as well to what we established in season one. But also just like a very funny, very lovely group of people. I ask you, hmm. is it worth the wait? Oh, that part is getting intense also. His footing when it comes to how to deal with the fact that there are now two vampires instead of one. Are you two? Right. Sentences for the whole session. We've been together 77 years, Daniel. What was fun was realizing that we'd spent all of season one with Rashid lingering mm. in the background. You're lingering, Rashid. It was fun for me to see like little things that Assad was doing in season one as Rashid, where you can see him under it. What do you think will happen to Mr. Dulac when you publish this book? I love working with Assad. He's so intense, and it's wonderful to play against. It's really fun. She wanted to say yes, but she didn't trust you. You hadn't given her a reason to. It's oh my God, he's so scary. Yeah. Brought here by Louis, but now that he's, he's like, I, yeah, but, he's, him. but he plays him as a very old, long game soul. Yeah. Everything's the long a game. Battle of wits. Uh, what happened next? Oh. <laughs> we have this phenomenal scene in front of this. It's called the murder mm -hmm. mansion. It's <laughs> the murder mansion. <laughs> they arrive, and Louis and, and Armand have this wonderful flirtation. Enjoy yourselves. Mm. <laughs> that mm -hmm. been one of the best days of my life. Um, it was. <laughs> it was. Honestly, it was just adults playing. Hey, before the play. What I really liked about Levin's direction in this is that when we got in the mansion, it was like, you're vampires. Go have fun, be vampires. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Chaos in the background. Vintage noir romance happening in the foreground. Cheers, something. Spark in the dark. The thing that I remember most about filming the murder mansion scene was that. There's like all this madness happening, but <laughs> you must work hard on that. Mm -hmm. Every single time something smashed or popped, I was like, <laughs> just jump. Oh no, really? <laughs> but somehow, as I just managed to like, just very focused. Oh, didn't flinch. That's actually that must be hard if it's so loud. You're yeah. trying to remember your line. You're trying. And what's to... weird too, because of the miking and everything, you can't do theater acting because that's too broad when you're under a lens and, and you know the so it, it's funny it's whenever you hear like really strong conviction laden responses you're actually saying it like this because the microphones are right there above you so you really can't yell out like this you know what i mean so it's 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 like a controlled scenario Right. Yes. Wow. So, this <laughs> thoughts on this episode? Uh, yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just so in fear of what, what's going to happen later. But right now, this is lovely. Like the way Claudia says, "I found my my tribe." You know, I'm, I'm with my people. Yeah. I'm so happy here, even though it's, it's messed up and cruel, and they kill people and stuff. It's nice for her that she finally well, feels like. She what belongs. I think is is really sad in the situation. 
if she had found these people before she had gone on her little t- uh, teenage tantrum mm-hmm. with mass killings and all, you know and going down that road you know and i blame louis i i'm not louis but i blame lestat for this because mm-hmm. he would know better he would know that maybe and rather than try to control them within the confines of of louisiana in new orleans yes. that it may have been better to take them to Europe where there were others. But I right. think Lestat was thrown out or separated himself from them. And I can't quite remember what the gist of it was, but yeah, he I'm removed either. himself from that situation. So therefore he couldn't take them back because if he took them back, then they would, that Louis and Claudia would find out why Lestat was both revered and hated, mm-hmm. you know, so... Uh, it, it was a very unfortunate set of circumstances because mm-hmm. I don't think Claudia would have been as evil, vindictive, and freakishly weird if she mm-hmm. had had that ability as a young fledgling vampire to be more playful. Yeah, you know what I mean. If she had mm-hmm. had the outlet of acting on stage and doing shows, it might right. have developed yeah. her in many other ways she could have figured out how to invent herself as a young very young looking but mentally developed older woman you know that's an interesting idea because yeah she she kind of developed in this horrible environment with just Mm -hmm. two other vampires that was Mm -hmm. super toxic and and she was trying to find who she was and louis Mm -hmm. was like killing his evil and let's like let's revel in the killing and she was being pulled in two opposite directions yeah oh I don't know. And she didn't have anybody else beyond them. And then the Mm -hmm. one she did find was Bruce and he raped her and fucked her up. And so, you know, you know, it wasn't a good thing all the way around. And it wasn't until she got to Europe. And now that she's found the Theater of the Vampire, she finds that she, well, as I said, in the, in the after sequence, she found her people, you know, she found where she could be happy. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's unfortunate because I think all of their lives, considering they're unlived, (laughs) uh, that Mm. they could um, have had a much better existence, Oh, you know, and that's, that's the sad irony of the situation. Yeah. You know, but then again, on (laughs) the other side, we all know that the theater troupe also have their own flaws and issues yeah oh my god they're crazy they are insane yeah most all of them oh my god anyways that's it for this episode comment <laughs> like subscribe write down <laughs> what you thought of this uh oh. you know do you think some of these elements about you know the irony of you know claudia could have had been a much different vampire had she had had exposure to this group uh, I kind of see her as the proverbial teenage angsty theater kid that would have had, you know, <laughs> it would have been a much different right. scenario for her. Mm-hmm. And I think she would have come out much more well balanced. But I think the toxicity yeah. she she reveled in, well, not reveled, but swam in um, mm-hmm. back in New Orleans wasn't the best fit for her. And unfortunately, yeah. you know, it, it's really taken a toll on her. And I think that's that's the most unfortunate part for me. Uh, about their family life is yep. you know if, if if some other decisions had been made and part you know i, I have to go back and lay the blame at lestat he has all the cards louis doesn't claudia mm. didn't yeah. lestat had all the cards he knew what he was playing so mm. you can't not not fault him because he is at fault yep. you know from this so. yep. anyways Right down below, tell us what you all think. Uh, we think it's really interesting when people have opposing opinions or come up with uh, theories that we may not have considered. So it could yeah. be a cool thing to have it down there. Um, like, subscribe, tell your friends what we're doing here. Uh, check out Albert's stuff at albertnoffit.com. My stuff is at sacollins.com. All of this can be found at ropepodcast.com. Sign up for our Patreon at 3 5 and $8. You get uh, early access to our interview series as well as the reactions from the TV series and the movies that we've got going up. There are all the unedited versions up there on Patreon. Um, I'm also thinking of doing a couple of uh, instructional videos that show behind the scenes of how I put together these edits Ooh, so cool. people can see how the reaction videos are, are being spun up 
Um, I, I, I do quite a bit more than I think some of the other ones do, but I like the way it's, I'm evolving the look. So I just thought people might find it interesting to see. And I may put a snippet of it up on our community page. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and until next time, uh, we will catch you again later. Take care. Mm, bye. <laughs>